What's up guys, my name is Omar and today's topic is gonna to be about opioids. And this is gonna be part of a three, maybe four part series about opioids. I'm gonna try to keep this video kind of short, but there's a lot to talk about regarding opioids and the opioid crisis that's going on right now. So this is the first of three to four videos. Now, at this point, you probably have to be living under a rock if you haven't heard about the opioid epidemic. But what exactly are opioids? Well, opioids are natural or synthetic chemicals that bind to receptors in your body. And oftentimes opioids are used as pain medications. These are your drugs like Vicodin, Oxycodone, uh, Fentanyl, Morphine, amongst others. And these are powerful drugs, not only in their effectiveness of treating pain, but they can also have very powerful side effects. Now, some of the side effects of opioids are respiratory depression. So your respiratory rate will slow down. Opioids can also cause sedation, euphoria, and physical dependence. These are highly addictive substances, and for that reason, these drugs can be very dangerous. You see, opioids affect the part of your brain that controls your breathing, and it slows it down. And oftentimes, when people die from an opioid overdose, they die because the respiratory rate was slowed all the way to the point of stoppage and they simply stop breathing. Now essentially the same causing agent in opioid prescription drug medications are really the same thing that is in heroin as well as in lean. Now there may be differences in the potency and there may be differences in whether or not um, the chemical was man-made or it was natural, naturally pulled from an opium plant, but they essentially do the same thing. Because heroin derives from morphine, which is made from the resin of poppy plants. And lean is a combination of codeine cough syrup, which is an opioid, mixed in with promethazine, uh, Jolly Ranchers, and Sprite. Meaning that the same way Prince died from prescription opioid drugs is the same way Pimp C died from drinking lean. Essentially, their breathing slowed down to complete stoppage until they weren't breathing anymore because of the opioid um, medication that Prince was taking and the opioid medication that was in the lean that Pimp C was drinking. Now, it's important to note when you're taking opioid medications or abusing opioid substances, your risk for overdosing increases dramatically if you're drinking alcohol, if you're mixing any other drugs, if you're taking sleeping pills, um, and also it your risk is also increased for overdose if you have sleep apnea. A lot of times people will be undiagnosed with sleep apnea and be taking high amounts of opioid medications or taking heroin and not realize they have sleep apnea and I told you that opioids slow down your respiratory rate well with sleep apnea sometimes you'll have periods of non-breathing while you're sleeping and you don't even know it if you have sleep apnea it may put you at higher risk for actually overdosing when taking these substances also in regards to heroin not all heroin is created equally when you're getting a batch of heroin off the street you're getting it from whomever and drug traffickers oftentimes will mix in fentanyl with their heroin and fentanyl is about 50 times stronger than heroin and it's a synthetic made opioid but they'll mix it in because essentially you get the same effects but it can be much more powerful and a lot of times a lot of these opioids overdoses are caused by some drug trafficker mixing in fentanyl with the heroin in order to I guess make it a better high or cut costs or whatever they're doing I don't know but the fentanyl that they're lacing some of this heroin with is causing a lot of people to overdose also when it comes to taking opioids whether you're sipping lean taking heroin taking opioids abusing them or taking them for chronic pain after some time you're gonna develop a tolerance to taking those opioids and when i talk about tolerance i mean that it takes more of it in order for you to achieve the level that you were at before whether it was pain relief or whether it was that high you were looking for and the issue with tolerance is that a lot of times a lot of people that were 
abusing opioids at one point in time, you know, they've developed this high tolerance and if, you know, they quit cold turkey and, you know, don't take opioids for a while, their tolerance will go down. But a lot of times, they'll, if they relapse and go back to taking opioids, they'll take the amount that they used to take, that amount that their tolerance was built up to handling before, but unknowingly overdosing because they don't have that tolerance anymore. You know, they'll, if they're used to taking X amount of pills to get high, if they take however many months off from taking pills or sipping lean or whatever, when they come back and they're like, you know what? I used to take this amount to get this high. And they'll take that amount and they'll essentially overdose because their body doesn't have that tolerance anymore. They're, it's And a lot of times you see that with people that relapse that one time, they'll end up overdosing because they took the amount that they were used to taking before. Now, to date in America, drug overdoses are the leading cause of death for people under the age of 50. The leading cause of death. That's crazy. And much of it is due to the increase in opioid overdoses. It's truly a public health crisis, really. Now, I'm not gonna get into prescriptive practices, pain management practices, or the pharmaceutical industry. That's a lot to cover and that'll take up too much time in this video. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that in another video. But I will say the way that we've managed opioid medications in this country is wrong. But for now, thanks for watching. I want you to look out for part two and three of this opioid series where I'm gonna cover uh, what are the signs and symptoms of somebody having an opioid overdose and what can you do if you suspect somebody may be having an opioid overdose. So thank you guys for watching. Later guys.